Okay, welcome to the first catch and cook in quite some time. And this dish was inspired by several Instagram posts from Mario DiBiase. He is a chef owner at Sotto Voce restaurant in Brooklyn, and you've seen him on Elias's channel. In any case, I'll leave a link to his Instagram and also a link to his restaurant's website. And I'm a big fan of his cooking. Here we're just making a very simple curry rub, and I'm just using prepared curry powder. But you can toast your own spices and use really any kind of dry spice and herbs. I'm keeping it about one to one kosher salt to curry powder ratio, and that seems to work well. A uh, pinch of black pepper, and just mix. Now the sea bass is scaled and wrapped in paper towels, gutted obviously. And here we're just gonna rub some grapeseed oil. You can use canola oil. Make sure you get all the surface well greased. And I trimmed all the fins off except the dorsal fin. And that we're, I, we're actually gonna prop up with toothpicks just to give the fish sort of a lively presentation once it's cooked. And one thing I forgot to do is um, cut slits into the fish. So you wanna, there you go. You basically want these cuts to go all the way down to the bone. It will quicken your cooking time and also just add more flavor since you can press the spice rub into the meat and also it gives you a window into how far the cooking has come once it's in the oven so you don't need a thermometer for this once you see the flesh start to sort of pull away from the spine then it's done here i'm just using toothpicks to prop up the dorsal fin and yeah it's gonna look nice now here I have a baking sheet with parchment paper. Ideally, if you have oven racks, like thin wire grates, that's, that's the ideal platform. And you'll get the most even cooking and you'll get crispy skin all the way around the fish. So you sort of open up the gill flaps and then just rest the fish vertically on its stomach. Okay, so the oven is preheated to 425 and slide your fish in and we'll rotate it 180 degrees, maybe five minutes in. The whole thing should take less than 10, 12 minutes. And here I'm just making a simple dipping sauce, a yogurt sauce. And that's yogurt about, I would say a cup and a half of yogurt and the juice from maybe half a lemon and this method of slicing your lemons and limes is how you get the most juice out of them I think I mentioned this before on previous videos here you just mix combine and then some extra virgin olive oil just to loosen it up And I skip minced garlic in this particular yogurt sauce because I don't really think fish needs it. But traditionally it will have maybe a clove or two of minced garlic. And we just season with kosher salt. And as usual when you're adding salt to anything you want to taste. And then adjust seasoning. Um, just throw in some cracked black pepper. Mix and combine. And this sauce will go with lamb, it'll go with a lot of things. So here I have a peeled section of cucumber and we're just gonna remove the seeds, dice it up and add it to the yogurt sauce. Now another species that this method of cooking will work great on is probably small sea robins. You can do single serving sea robins 
you know, ones that are like 10, 11 inches, and I think that will work great. Mario did his with rosefish, which it's a delicious fish. It's very delicate. It's a deep sea. You know, when you go tile fishing, you'll catch them as bycatch. Now, I'm using tarragon as the herb in this sauce. I think mint will work very well, even though traditionally that would be for lamb. Um, you can throw in some parsley. Don't go crazy on tarragon if you're using it because it's quite strong. Just touch more olive oil and that's pretty much the sauce. And again, even the sauce is optional. You know, the main thing here is the fish. Don't overcook the fish. That's the most important thing. Alright, so we rotated the fish and this is about, I would say, 10 and a half minutes. And you could just peek in between the cuts you make and you want there to be just a tiny bit of translucency where the meat is touching the bone. And then that's going to carry over cooking and you're pretty much done. Now this curry powder actually turned out to be quite strong and the yogurt sauce really kind of cools it down a little bit and it went well together. Another spice you can use is a combination of celery salt and cumin. That will actually work pretty nice. And that's pretty much the dish. It turned out well. All the flavors work. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you like what you're seeing on my channel, please do subscribe. But more importantly, comment, ask, ask questions. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I was talking to Nick at Tackle Advisors and I didn't realize how much that kind of engagement mattered to the YouTube algorithms and how they push your videos. So anyway, thanks for watching guys.